hello from Montreal. So we arrived into the coldest, rainiest place from Miami last night. Ate all the food and Matt was like, oh, am I in Manchester or am I in Canada? Matt, just, ha just like Manchester. Matt hates Montreal. I've literally taken him from paradise to the coldest place. So I used to live in Montreal. I studied at McGill University as well as Leeds University. I did um, a year abroad here. I'm wearing gym kit because I'm going to one of my hot bar, bar classes after I've had some breakfast. Um, and I'm filming on an iPhone 10 because my camera, which I brought on this trip with me, has broken. This is the second one that's broken now. Vlogging camera, so I'm really, really sorry. I really don't like filming on an iPhone and it's Matt's iPhone because mine's only an iPhone 7. So I need to sort that out. But yeah, so I studied at McGill and Matt, hey, yeah. has never been to Canada. But I'm that annoying person that's always like, this one time at band camp, this one time in Canada. So I thought I'd bring Matt. I wanted to basically do like five days of my favorite hot yoga and bar classes because I miss it. I wanted to eat all the food. It was really close to Miami. And this is the first time I've been back in four years. So going through the airport last night, I was like, oh my God, this is so emotional because my first ever solo flight, so like just me flying by myself, was from Manchester to Montreal and I cried the whole way. The security guards were like, what is wrong with her? I think it was 19. I was holding a teddy bear. 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I was 19. And um. The last time, so I lived here in 2014 and 2015, so it's my first time back in like three years and my first flight here was four years ago. So that's a little bit of backstory, but I have lots of happy memories here. Now time to make some more. So yeah, we're gonna go to expectations. We're just staying at a hotel in downtown, which is really close to my old apartment. My old apartment was like here-ish. So yeah, let's go get expectations. <laughs> Matt for his first ever expectations. Leave a comment below if you've ever heard of expectations. It's like a breakfast place. It's literally straight in front. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Montreal is like French speaking. Matt asked if they have any good boulangeries. I love it when you're thinking about food because I'm always thinking about food. Can't be French. <laughs> Fresh French. Bread. French bread is the best. your first ever expectations. Absolutely amazing. Filled the hole. You liked it. I accidentally ordered fruit salad rather than potatoes, so now we're gonna have to go back because I want their potatoes again. So I'm completely laid up. I'm wearing this jumper, my leather jacket, a sports top, a t-shirt and gym kit. Because it's actually really cold outside. When I lived here it was like minus 30. It's only like seven degrees, but I'm still freezing. Are you cold? I'm not quite um, I'm going to my hot bar class now. It's like in a sauna and it's like ballet moves and it's a killer. I used to go pretty much every day when I lived here. You're not allowed phones in there and my phone will probably break, but I'll take you to the studio with me. I'm gonna have to film it on my phone. So sorry if the quality decreases, but Matt's staying here to do some work. So he's keeping his phone and yeah, look, this is my camera guys. Like it is still completely broken. It's just stuck like this. No matter what I do, yeah. We're not working, big error, how annoying. But yeah, let's go, let's go, or I'm gonna be late because it's like a 20 minute walk. So I finished a hot bar, it was really good, although I totally forgot to pack a bra. So I'm currently just walking around with no bra on. Don't you know what's wrong with my face today? We are just about to go and get some food. I did bar with my friend Brooke, who I actually met when I was studying at McGill. So the light is so bad in here, guys. I actually hate vlogging on a phone. I'm so sorry. We're just in a place called Lola Rosa. So I'm just currently sat here, braless, in this cute top, though. And that's in Lola Rosa with my friend Brooke. Hi. If you want to be on it. Yes, um, definitely. We, we just got nachos. Oh my god, I can't film nachos. Oh my god. So I used to come to this place all the time, but this is a new version and it's a vegan restaurant and they do like the best nachos ever. Now just waiting for my friend who was one of my bestest friends when I was in Canada and I've not seen him for four years and I'm just waiting at his office. Ready for him.
So we're back in our hotel now. I actually need to put a bra on. <laughs> and I need to sort my hair out. So I absolutely love going to, I go to a place called Enso in Montreal, which is like a bar place. It's where I used to go. Bar is like ballet. I really wish I could film. I might try to take my phone tomorrow and get someone to film me. I don't know, it's a bit hot. My phone might collapse. This is our stash of chocolates. Um, but yes, yeah, so I washed my hair in there, which is why it's a bit of a mess because I didn't take any curlers or anything. And also didn't use heat protection. My hairdresser is gonna kill me, sorry. So yeah, I met Andres. Oh my God, I was so happy. I literally couldn't be happier. He was like the first friend I met when I got to Montreal all these years ago. And I've watched him grow up from an 18 year old to just an absolute guy boss killing it. And it's just so nice to come back and see my friends four years on. So yeah, it was crazy. I'm gonna get some work done now. And then I'm gonna go for dinner and drinks tonight with some more Montreal friends, which is just exciting. So we're ready for dinner. I may have had a little nap. I'm just so tired as I'm wearing a Burberry trench with the white shirt. Sorry guys, the light's not very good in here. With the white shirt that I always tell you guys about. They do it in baby pink now as well. It's amazing. My Louis Vuitton necklace, wearing a little bralette under, and I'm wearing, wait, my Chanel shoes, my Gucci belt. And does that look better? Yeah, Hopefully you guys can actually see now, so I'm wearing flats just because I'm lazy. But we're just about to go for dinner with my friend Emily and her boyfriend Nick, so we're going to go for drinks first. goodness the sun is actually out in Montreal it's a it's a miracle this one's just getting changed so I actually did hot bar again this morning my second class totally killed me because I had to get up so early to walk there and we had a bit of a late one last night we had the best dinner with Emily and Nick then after dinner we went to surprise my friend Ben who I was really good friends with and I was went to a house party that he was in I was like hey didn't film there because I'm not getting Matt's phone out to film in front of a random group of like people at a house party. So we came home quite late and I was so tired and then somehow made it to bar. Matt did not make it to bar. I was never going to bar. Matt was never going to bar, but he was never going to make it. So we are going to go. We went for some brunch after. We had like the worst brunch ever. We went to the wrong place and I had the worst pancakes. So we're going to go and explore the old port now, properly explore the old port. We just wandered through yesterday, but I want to actually go when I don't look like a toad. <laughs> so showered, sorted my hair out. Let me show you my outfit. Keeping it casual. I don't really have any clothes with me that aren't summery. So we're just going with casual warm vibes. I need to take a jumper with me because it's really cold. So I might just wear this one. Or do you think I should wear my yellow one? My Gucci belt came out to play last night. I forgot how much I loved it. I'll um, link it below if you guys want it. I'm actually gonna get in beige this time, I think, because I keep dreaming of it, and uh, just makes every outfit look nice, right? We good? We ready to explore? Yeah. Matt ate a whole bag of crisps without me, and they were my bag of crisps. No regrets there. But these They're ones, so ruffles, what are they called? Hold them up. These ones, stimulated flavor, healthy. Simulated flavor of an all dress. They're like a Canadian version, but scores on the doors. So tasty. So it's actually warm. Matt's decided he wants to go and see what this building is. And even though I lived here for a year, I don't think I ever wondered what this building was. So Matt's gonna take me to try and figure out how we get over there. We got here because we wanted to take some cool pictures here with this building, but there's a fence and some trees and I don't think we wanna get arrested by breaking in. I'm not really sure. <laughs> There's someone on a zip line behind me. Can you guys see this? This is incredible. So my first ever day in Canada, like the day I arrived when I was really scared, I came down here with some people that I met in my apartment. There's like a music thing on. And I had my first ever ice cream sandwich here and then I had, um, I think called a beaver tail, so I'm going to take Matt to try a beaver tail. We're just in a place called the Old Port. This bit behind me is actually usually completely frozen, so I have ice skates in here numerous times. And now it's spring. There's no ice, there's no snow. It's so weird when you see the difference. 
Montreal is like the most beautiful place in spring, but also the most beautiful but cold place in winter. So let's go get a beaver tail. Yeah, boy. Do you want one? I don't know what it is yet. He doesn't so know what it is. I've told him it's just like a beaver's tail out. coached in peanut butter. Oh, well, I like peanut butter. So that sounds good to me. <laughs> and Reese's peanut butter cups. Gosh, it's windy. <gasps> You get a big piece of pastry, they roll it out and then they like paint stuff on top of it. It's cool. And the efforts of being healthy, we're actually not getting one, which is so unlike us, isn't it? I'm not actually that hungry, mate. If I was hungry, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. Oh my God, I'm so starving because my, my brunch was like the worst brunch I've ever had. It was basically rock solid buckwheat crap. And then when she asked me if it was okay, I was too polite to say it was horrendous. So I just kind of, like, I couldn't even eat it. It was so bad. And I stupidly still tipped 20%. But it was the worst meal I've had. So I hate wasting calories and food on bad meals. So we're just gonna wait for Emily and then I think we're gonna get some food. So Emily's brought us into the most grammable restaurant slash cafe slash workshop you've ever seen. Had to fight to get this table. I'm in Montreal, so I got a bagel with cream cheese, a matcha latte, which I dropped all over myself, not shown on camera. And it's like the most dedicated Instagram husband to the side of me, who is like full blown taking pictures of his girlfriend on the camera and has been doing for like half an hour. And she is just so chilled and so confident. I can't do that. I like just, I'm too embarrassed for that, but she's getting out. So yeah, this is like the most Instagrammable spot in Montreal. Did not exist when I came here. Montreal was not Instagrammable. So, I just had a big match. I'm feeling all greened out now. We went to like the most Instagrammable place ever, thanks to Emily. Say hey to Emily. Do you want to be on the vlog? Yes, <laughs> here she is. So Emily was big, ooh, these guys are cool. Emily was like my first friend in Montreal, literally. Um, oh, literally, everyone's getting the gram shots. It's very cool today. So the guy I was telling you guys about who was getting the gram shot, he was taking pictures of his girlfriend, like really dedicated to the gram, literally in front of the busiest restaurant. He was just like moving everyone out of the way, taking pictures on the camera. I was like, yeah, dang girl, she was working it. And then they swapped and she started taking pictures of him. But the thing is, I thought they were like really nice. And then I was stood behind him to get some water out of a drink suspense. And he literally edged me right into the corner and nearly crushed me. Hashtag death by Instagram husband, um, which is just a little bit rude. But yeah, anyway, I hope they got the shot. I'm gonna check the geotag later. Does anyone do that and check geotags to see who was in the same restaurant as them because I really want to know who they were did they just like photography or were they just I don't know anyway we are just wondering I can't believe how nice the weather is we are just wandering up the mountain now so I'm gonna take you guys to McGill which is where I used to study and where Emily currently studies and yeah so yeah I did my year abroad here and it's just crazy to be back and then we're gonna get up the mountain so guys, this is my old apartment. I'm gonna show you, this is like the department store and like downtown, and then let me show you my bedroom window. Yeah, this is my window. And then this is like the main shopping street. Study, we are just walking up to it now. The mighty Miguel. It's like really beautiful. Like the driveway to it is really intense. It's like, boom, boom, boom. It's beautiful. Oh, they even have, do they have a Quidditch team here? They have a full-blown Quidditch team, don't they? Yeah, and they're like really serious and really <laughs> this, is Mr. Mag this is Mr. Miguel. <laughs> That's the founder. This is Mr. Miguel, James Miguel. This is engineering, we, right? One of these. Quidditch team at uh, Leeds Uni. Yeah, I know, I love that. Yeah. They actually play Quidditch here. So like, on the walk back to like where everyone used to live, like you used to walk through you always used to see them practicing. Yeah, but you can see them play Quidditch here. Like, yeah. they yeah. actually play on okay. the grass. At your guys' school, do, does the snitch like dress up in like a golden spandex suit and like <laughs> run around? No. No, that's what they do here. just walking up the hill and I used to actually run up here like all the time I'm in the wrong attire for this right now I'm actually really warm so the reason I'm vlogging is because I want to show you like look at the background you can see the city of Montreal <laughs> I'm so bad at like 
speaking French now. I actually did A-level French and yeah, Montreal, I lived here for a year and it's French speaking. Emma always tells me she's fluent. When I'm drunk, I'm fluent in French. You can't speak a word. I have to be drunk and then I'm really fluent in French. Seriously guys, right, let's go up. Well, we made it to the top. I had to take my top off because I'm so warm. Matt's wearing his row menswear jeans and they're designed by him, but they're not mountain proof, are not, they? Not made for climbing mountains, it's a little, little on the tight side, <laughs> a little too warm. Matt's so sweaty, like we never thought that we'd be in Canada and we'd be too hot. I, to be fair, Montreal in summer gets to like crazy degrees, it's really hot, but right now we were so layered up to walk up this mountain and Matt is just like sweating. I need a bikini on. Also carrying like a 20 kilogram backpack. Oh yeah, he's got two laptops in his backpack as well. Okay, I'm gonna show you this view because this is just stunning. If you guys come to Montreal, you have to come here. My legs have got the shakes so, so, so bad. Like I can't actually feel my calves. So the bar classes that I do, I'm on my second one in a row. They're small isometric movements and oh my goodness, they hurt so bad. We've done 20,000 steps today. So we've not been to the gym, but we've done 20,000 steps. I think we might actually go to the gym later. So we're just walking down a road to go for pizza. This is one of my favorite pizza places in the whole of Montreal. I hope it's still open. There's two pizza places that I want to take this one to. Um, and this is one of them. So we're gonna check the menu at this one and then decide. I thought this was en route, it's definitely not en route. But while I'm walking, I wanna show you some traditional Montreal houses. So I just got out of another bar session. That's my third one this week. Went with Emily. We are literally nailing the hot bar. We were so sweaty. So now we're just having some brunch at a place called Melise. Melise? Don't know the French. Emily actually speaks French. So like she, she's humble. She's actually very good. So we're gonna get some brunch. The weather is horrendous today. So I'm really glad we went on the mountain area yesterday when we actually had the weather. Montreal is back to its usual moody style. So, Matt here. Yum. Thank you. Oh my god, Emily got banana bread. This looks so fun. <laughs> oh, this is my favourite. See, they never give you enough, enough bread to dunk. When she was like, you get bread, I was like, no, not enough. Look yeah. like an actual drowned rat. We have a special guest with us. Can you be on my? Do you want to be on my vlog? Sure. <laughs> Hello. What's your name and where are you from? Christelle from Montreal, and super happy to reconnect with them uh, again. How nice yeah. is that? <laughs> we're just in. I don't know how you pronounce it. Mirai. Mirai. Anyway, we're in. Your, yeah. I look, yeah. Right, I literally look so shiny. We're basically in the worst rainstorm ever with Emily as well. Um, we're just downstairs in Club Monaco having coffees. Oh my god, everyone's looking and I'm like, this is too much of a small space to be vlogging. So basically, what I came on to say is I know I'm a dram rat, but I'm gonna go upstairs and do some shopping. So I'm gonna hopefully take you guys with me. I know shops are sometimes weird about people vlogging in shops, so I might just take you into the changing rooms and show you what I'm gonna try on because Emily loves Club Monaco. I'm about um, to spend so much money. And like, <laughs> I love Club Monaco, but I never really go in the UK. So I'll try some stuff on, and then if it's good, I'll link it below for you guys. Let's go shopping.
So we're just walking home. I am so wet right now. Um, and my Chanel shoes are so drenched, the espadrilles, because you're not meant to wear them in this weather, but when I went out this morning, the weather was fine. So I'm having to come to H&M to buy a pair of shoes, which is so inefficient and such a waste, but my feet are sliding out of these and oh, it's just so stupid. So I need some trainers so I can actually walk around. <laughs> we made it win. This is a real me. Hair on top of my head, jumper. I've started wearing my Gucci belt more and I'm so happy because I really missed it. I really like it. These shoes are actually quite cute. Our room is a total tip. The outside is just not happy. It's basically rained all day long. So I took Matt from Miami to rainy Montreal. I had a great day with my friends and then obviously met uh, someone who follows me which was so 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 lovely so nice spending time with you guys and now we are just gonna tidy this room do some work and then i think we're gonna go well we need to go and catch up with friends like now really but we've just quickly come in for a rain check because i'm just like you know when you just need to get back to your room you're like okay i am done with the rain for today so then we're gonna go back out yes i'm wearing basically what i've been wearing all week because I don't have anything with me that's warm enough. This is the thing about Montreal that I've really not missed. I just look so ugly all the time because if I style my hair, the weather ruins it and then you're too cold. So I'm just basically wearing what I've been wearing all week. Annoyingly, I can't wear nice shoes because they're all drenched. So I'm wearing the new shoes, which are actually kind of cute. And um, with these and the shirt, which is honestly my favorite shirt ever. Vloggers get a lot of crap for doing a lot of hauls, but I like to think I'm proof that I actually wear the stuff in my hauls so much because bought this in two colours and I am over wearing it so much. Aren't I? I literally... So bad. Okay, so where are we going for dinner? I don't know the name. We're going to Steakhouse. Though. Steak? So I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what it's called. Though. Old Port for Steak. Let's go. Are you excited? I am so hungry. Let's go. Shock, it's raining. It's raining, it's raining, okay. it's raining again. I feel sad that Matt's come on the rainiest week to ever exist. Like I would have rather him come when it snowed. It didn't used to rain this much when I lived in Montreal. So again, I'm wearing thermals. It's April and I'm wearing thermals. And I know the temperature isn't actually that cold, but I just hate feeling cold. So in the Canada, like coldness is colder than cold anywhere else it's cold. So I've got thermals underneath this jumper. However, I am wearing my All Saints jacket. Got my hair up because I'm going to my hot bar class after we've had brunch and I'm wearing this, which is actually a jumper dress. I know I'm wearing these every day, but it means I can put my thermals underneath. Does anyone else just hate being cold? Because I do. But um, I'm kind of like in the top combo. This is like a dress I've tucked in. You know, edgy M vibes, edgy M. When it warms up a bit later, I'm gonna go for it and actually wear something nice. I'm really sorry, guys. I just look like... I don't know how anyone never spoke to me when I was in Montreal. It just looked like a mess, but yeah. I love this, this coat and I found a dupe of it because I know not everyone wants to spend All Saints prices. So I will link the All Saints one and a dupe below, right? Oh, hey, I thought you were weeing then. I just heard like the sink get me. I thought I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna be weeing. We're going for brunchies. Mm. Let go, let's go. After we ate breakfast, which was a really good breakfast, I just went to a hot bar class. Oh my God, it's my fourth one this week. I am out of breath, out of energy, legs are hurting, I'm wearing thermals because I'm lazy and cold. Just going to get some more food. I know it looks like we're just doing food after food, but it's a few hours on now. My class was an hour long. It takes me half an hour to walk there and half an hour to walk back. Shower there. So we're just on Boulevard Celeron, which doesn't sell Celeron. I know I can't pronounce it by the way, so I'll say it in my Yorkshire accent, Boulevard Saint Laurent. Because last time I talked about designer bags, people got really offended because I couldn't pronounce it properly. So I'm just not going to bother. Oh, that place is really good for poutine. Poutine have a lot. So yeah, we're just on like the main street, which is it's kind of edgy. If you're from Leeds, it's kind of like a posher pedigree. Bye. 
what is my life? Why do I always do this workout and then get chocolate? So we're at a place called Juliet and Chocolate and it's basically a chocolate cafe. So we got unhealthy crepes rather than healthy crepes. We ate all the chocolate. Yeah. And, sick. <laughs> and now we're in my land. We are, look at this day on my face. It just look horrible. Sorry, guys. So we are just walking to the bagel shop, the famous bagel shop in Montreal. We're not going to eat it now. We'll get some it for like later snacks. And also, we're kind of in the area. Okay, we're not. We're like half an hour away, but you got to walk off that chocolate, you know? wonder what we're doing. I have bagels in my bag, we didn't eat them yet. We've just been sat working away in second cup. So I used to cup, wait, 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 to second cup pretty much every night and do work when I was in Montreal. Good morning, guys. The sun is out. Can you believe it? The sun is out. Shock. She's wearing the same clothes that she's worn all week. Gucci belt back on. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm in a good mood because the sun's out. What did we do last night? Did we do anything? Oh, yeah. yeah we went to the good. diner. It was really good. But I had really bad travel sickness and we just kind of were so tired that we ate then left. But it was really good food. Matt's burger was like the best burger I've ever had. The I had a lot of burgers. Was the best burger ever. Oh, my God. I had a bite and I was like, wow. My pasta was not good, it was basically just like noodles. I mean, you shouldn't go to an American diner and order pasta. I know, it was awful. I've learned, I've learned from my mistakes, guys. I've learned, honestly, I'm like a new woman now the sun's shining. So we are just about to go for some breakfast, although it's very late. We are heading to a place called Arthur's. A lovely lady called Laurie on Instagram messaged me and was like, you need to go here. So thank you for the heads up, lovely. I am going there now. We had, well I had pancakes, they were the best pancakes ever. Cottage cheese, cottage cheese pancakes. How was your breakfast? Very good. Slash brunch, because it was definitely brunch down there. Yeah, it's been the usual, smoked salmon, scrambled eggs. You're so boring. So good. I feel like mine was very unhealthy, but you can't go to, pan uh, to pancakes, you can't go to Canada and not have pancakes. Right guys, I'm gonna head down here, we're gonna have a little wonder, we're in an area called St. Henry, I think. We're going into Dollarama. It's my favorite store. It's a dollar store, apart from everything isn't a dollar, but it's just amazing and I just love it. So I'm gonna make Matt go in. I did take him on our first night, not filmed, but now we're gonna go in again. I'm so excited to be in Dollarama. I mean, it's basically just like Poundland, but I just love it. See, you even agreed it's better. It's not a dollar though, you need to sell them that. Yeah, I said, it's not a dollar, sadly. Bad false advertising. You actually are a dollar. So you get all your fake flowers. Basically, if you are in Canada, buy Crest because it's such good toothpaste and only buy it from dollar stores because it's like six dollars in normal stores and it's one fifty. Or a dollar or two dollars in here, which is so much better. Matt's currently checking how much sodium is in tooth whitener. Put your degree to good use, use the maths. Face wipes, yeah, they look really bad. 125. Yeah, but they don't look very good, do they? But I'm not being $4 in Dollarama. I want these Dead Sea ones. Isn't it? Down the best aisle in the world, okay. Heaven. Here we are. She's arrived. What are we buying? All of it. Yeah, they are literally pure sugar. Oh my god, they do chocolate syrup.
Blue British style. We moan when we're too hot and we moan when we're too cold. I've changed into the shirt because it's hot. I'm so happy that it is hot in Montreal. We're just not dressed yet. Oh my goodness, Matt, look at this dog. <gasps> the dogs in Westmont are so fluffy. We're just walking with the worst clothes ever up where like all the lovely houses in Westmont West Mount in Montreal are and then there's a summit at the top. Can't remember where it is. Let's just hope it's there and hope that I can stroke this dog along the way. Oh my god, this guy is cycling up this hill. What a legend. Have you seen this? You're moaning about walking and he's like 80 years older than you and he's cycling up there. What a legend. <laughs> Almost made it up to the top. These houses are like actual castles. I hope that time will show There's something in the way that you looked up on me is telling me I should go. Yeah, I wish I could get an answer. I can see it, I can see the lookout. Oh my goodness, and all of these incredible houses look straight out onto this lookout. So, we ended up getting a cab back down from the mountain because, oh my goodness, it was literally like so far and I had a spin class to go to, yes, after we just climbed up the other side of the mountain. So I had a 10 minute nap before spin and then went to spin because Emily forced me to go. She's here. Um, now, we just walked up the mountain again, but the other way up, I am so sweaty. Although I love David Lloyd's spin and the spin here was a bit more like nightclub-y. I have a packet of crisps in my bag because I'm so hungry. I'm gonna have some wine up here, watch the sunset, and then we're gonna go to La Banquise for, what are we having? Poutine. We went up the mountain and now I'm in La Banquise. I'm vlogging. Ah, oh, my favorite person ever. This is Ben. This is Emily. <laughs> I'm not even drunk, but I'm just so animated because I'm in La Banquise. <laughs> like, I'm literally so. I look really drunk. I'm like looking in the camera. Like, I look so drunk. La Banquise is the best poutine. We went up the mountain. I had some wine. I had some crisps or chips in Canadian terms. Then we stood in the line. This is the best poutine. It's his first poutine. Yeah, 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 right. Let, I need you to meet Ben. Wait. Why are you pointing at me? I'm on you. <laughs> so I live with Ben and Emily. They're like my babes, my favorite Canadian guy, my favorite Canadian gal. And we are sat about to have a poutine feast together. Fine friends that will literally just sit with you and eat good food. They're the kind of friends I want. Matt's first ever poutine was amazing. My first poutine in the last three years was amazing. Montreal was so good. It was just so nice. It's the thing, it's, I was talking to my friend the other day and we were saying Montreal wasn't necessarily about the place when we lived here. Like we loved it, but it was about the people that we were with and the memories. And I got to spend my week with Emily, Ben and Andres, which just makes it really special and brings about such happy memories. And Matt got to meet them. And it was so good because it was such a big part of my life, right? I'm so tired, I'm in pain, so I'm gonna go to bed now. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Come say hi on Instagram, let me know that YouTube sent you, and yeah, I will see you guys when I'm at home, which will be next week. Bye. Good night, look at me. <laughs>